This video is about depression. What about the depression? I used to think that depression wasn't real. I know that's a idiotic thing to say, very insensitive, very uncool, if you will, to say. But I believe if you live long enough and you go through enough life experiences, you learn that at some point we all experience sadness and grief. And sometimes, depending on the nature of the events that lead to that point, it can really cause us as humans with feelings and hearts and emotions to experience depression. After going through several different, you know, phases of life, I think one of the biggest things that really determine somebody's views on depression and whether they choose to stay in that state is mindset. I can think of three significant things in my life, at least, that have caused me to feel the deepest of painful emotions. During those times, I think about what helped me through it. It's absolutely, depending on the time, it's, it's different things, but one is faith. Your faith in the higher power is very important. I feel sorry for those who don't have that because that's one thing that you're losing, that, that ability to tap into something, to believe in something. And believing is so powerful for your mind. Right. Number two is support. I don't believe in telling everybody your business, telling everybody my business. I failed myself at this recently to an extent, and I'm going to just continue how much of some of my business I share. But having support from the right people, the key people, people that love love you and don't want anything from you but to see you win, it's vital. It's vital. Because on the days that you don't believe you can do it, you have another person believing you. Now, remember, I said how that believing really shapes and helps you out of that dark place. Thing number three for me has always been fitness. When I say fitness, I don't just mean physical fitness. I mean the, the euphoric, the hormones release from vigorous exercise, not only what it does for your body, but what it does for your mental. There's no, there's few greater feelings than how you feel after an amazing workout just that rush, that circulation, that getting those hormones. I feel like a lot of people stay in despair and distress because they don't get that hormonal release that they need. Hormones is real. After being in the gym a long time, you see guys that's on substances that's not legal, and you can see the difference from when they're on and when they're off, right? You see the muscle and you, you see their, you hear that psychological when you talk to them. When they're on, they are up. They are through the roof. Same thing with women. I mean, let's face it, like it's real. Women that are going through that time <laughs> every every month, they aren't feeling like their best selves. Understandably so, it's, it's a lot, man. I'm thankful I'm a man, I ain't gotta deal with that. That's why I, I do my best to give grace to women when they're going through that time because hormones are a cuss word. And I ain't gonna say it because my mother watched my channel. 
And I don't be cussing like that. <laughs> Man. And number five is just, there's some of us that can feel okay in the dark. I liken depression and those feelings of grief and sorrow and despair to being in a dark hole. Some people scared of the dark. Some people are afraid. I remember moments at my lowest that I would go walk in the woods or just go outside at night and stand in the dark and close my eyes and just breathe slow. It's an exercise. I got it from a friend of mine who used to do military stuff with me. There's a, a sense of relief and, and power and excitement from going somewhere scary and then recontrolling your mind to erase that fear. The threat is still there. Everything that's going on is still there. But when you get into that storm, it's like being in the eye of the hurricane and you just get to that part of that and you have that peace. You just stand outside or, or you go in a dark closet. You just turn off all the lights. It's silence. All you hear at, at some points, all you hear is your heartbeat, your pulse. Boom, 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 boom. It's calming. You okay? And now what? You're able to process your thoughts, your mind, figure out a plan, some type of strategy to keep going, to keep fighting, to have that dog in you. But you got to make that decision. All of these things tie in together. All of these things matter. And even if things don't go your way, you still continue to deal with the grief, the sorrow, the pain. Still must understand with everything that just because things are not going your way at that moment does not, does not mean that they won't work out for your good still. Got to remember that. You can be in the direst of situations, I mean, where you're under fire and, and maybe, maybe a gun jams, right? When that happens and you feel that instant, a lot of people don't know what that feels. Like when that gun jams and you were supposed to take a shot or it was a shot that you were supposed to have, It's a, it's worse than that feeling you get in your stomach on a roller coaster. But maybe you wasn't supposed to take that shot. I don't believe in mistakes. I believe in everything happening for a reason. I trust God and I'm comfortable in dark spaces. Keep fighting. Do some burpees today. Do something to make yourself uncomfortable. Do something difficult. Do something that you know somebody else won't do. Because maybe they're not tough enough, but maybe them seeing you do it will inspire them. You can help somebody else. I saw a video this morning. <laughs> talking about how I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it right now. In general, good men are steady and consistent and predictable. It's why as women, we think you're boring. 
Again, it's just another difference between us, not good or bad or right or wrong, just another difference between us as men and women. As women in general, we like chaos and drama and disruption of routine. That's what makes us feel alive and engaged in life. We abhor structure. (laughs) As women, we abhor structure and routine because we want to do what we want to do. And we think it's boring to, to have that routine. Structure holds us accountable and we don't want accountability. So we want to do what we want to do when we want to do it and thrive on that instability because again, it makes us feel engaged and alive. Ergo, why we are attracted to bad boys because they're chaotic and we think that's exciting and it adds drama and passion to our lives. As you can see, this video talks about women not appreciating boring men, the routine, the, I guess the mundane. I am that way. I'm very regimented, routine, Monday, even kill. I don't talk about half the stuff I have to deal with. But they only knew the chaos and things you have to shoulder sometimes as a man and different phases of life. I don't think those women will be saying that. That's the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. It's PJD.